have the Trek Amonda SL. Nice little bike. Very, very lightweight. Very lightweight. Feels very comfortable. It feels like a Damane. It was a very comfortable bike to ride. Come stock with a 5034 crank set compact. Come stock with a 28. I have an issue with that. For me, this is a climbing bike, and I would say at minimum 32 on the back there for me. Uh, the wheels feel nice, the Bontrager, Keith Bontrager spec rim, hub still pretty smooth. The brakes, the Shimano Otegra, they work. You've got a decent amount of clearance in there. You've got the little seat cap here. You've got a bit of four and a half, not a lot. So if you do like it slam forward, I get, you can get, actually I think you can get a zero offset one there. This is one of my favorite lights, is the Bontrager Flare R. Really, really bright light. Very nice light, not cheap, but very light, but very bright. Head trip feels pretty good. It's not a super, super stiff bike. It's more of a lightweight rider's bike, but uh, it definitely is comfortable, and I definitely uh, I like it. I think it's coming out of the giant factory in Taiwan there. It isn't as stiff as a TCR, but it's very comfortable. So if you're a heavy rider over 80 kilos, I probably wouldn't recommend them. If you're a lightweight rider, sub 80 kilo, then you'd be fine with this one. The clearance is pretty good in there. Uh, bars, not too bad. If you had smaller hands, you could probably go more of a shallow drop. And it's got the Ortegra 6800 shifters, which work. They've got adjustable reach. Pop that flat back and screw it in. It will just tighten it in a bit more. Wheels feel good. Uh, quick release, which I do like. The Bontrug quick release, probably the best in the market. It's easy to fit the hand. That's your little Trek SL there, the Ortegra mechanical. Any questions down below when your bikes are reviewed? Give us a heads up.